Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, automatically start open web UI with uh, DeepSeek, our model, uh, automatically on your operating system. I'm going to show you how to uh, do that on uh, Linux and um, Windows. Mac OS might be very similar to uh, Linux. So uh, in the previous uh, video tutorial series, I show you how to set up uh, DeepSeek R1. Hello, on welcome your, to my uh, YouTube channel. So if you're interested in, in the last two days, I released two uh, the playlists here, so you can step by step how to set it up on Mac OS, Linux, and also uh, Windows 11. And uh, so we utilize Open Web UI. Uh, if you have not installed Open Web UI, you can again follow the tutorial. Uh, so previously, when we start open uh, web UI, we basically use the UV command. So what you need to do is basically here, it depends on your operating system. So if you're on Mac or Linux, you're going to copy this command and then just open the terminal. So for example, I can copy and then just come back here, open the terminal. So every time you need to do that, like you need to remember this long URL. It's quite um, uh, time consuming. And um, so there are two ways we can do that uh, to simplify the process. The first one is to uh, set an, as an alias. Uh, so in that way, you can type a shorter command. The second one is even better if you want to automatically start every time when you uh, boot your operating system. And I'm going to show you two ways. So right now, for example, here, this is how we normally start on uh, Linux. If you not uh, set up an alias or uh, automatically or on or auto start. So as you can see, uh, now it works just fine. Next, let me show you how to do that. I'm going to stop this one right now. And so what you can do uh, is to set up an uh, alias. So how do we do that uh, first? you can uh, go to your home directory so right now uh, i'm using um, manjara uh, linux kde and other operating system might be uh, very much similar uh, Wind, uh, linux might be very, very much similar so i'm going to at least uh, here on your home directory uh, alt period is going to unhide all the hidden files on your computer so it depends on uh, what kind of linux distro you're using you might be only having this one, uh, base RC or GSHRC because my terminal is GSH. So I'm actually going to go this one again. You can also do it uh, on this one. So what we want to do is just open this uh, GSHRC, this file. So this is the file actually being loaded uh, when you boot your operating system. And what we can do here is to set up an uh, alias. And so we can just type A-L-I-S. And you can just give a short uh, name. For example, I just um, maybe just maybe open web UI, uh, whatever you like. So the short name that you can remember and then just um, equal, then double quotes. Then you can put um, the, you, uh, the the command here. Again, depends on the, whether you're on Windows or uh, uh, Linux or Mac, uh, but it's the same command. So you can just come here, copy. All the commands are, are in the video description below. So you can uh, just copy and paste. All right, and where is the here? Just Control V, and then Control S. Um, done. So if you want, you can copy this one. Also put in the uh, base RC file if you want to. So after that, just close it, and then I can close on my terminal. Then just restart. Okay. So after that, you will be able to just use the short URL. Then will be open uh, web UI. You see, it now it's a green color. That means right now the system can recognize the, this uh, program and then you can just hit enter. So instead of every time just copy and paste the long uh, command line, right now we just um, re uh, probably much easier to remember. It's open web UI, that's it. And so once you type the command, hit enter, wait for a couple seconds, then you should have that URL and just uh, click here, open, then you should be good to go. Then you can just log in into your account, okay. And then you enter, see, now I have this uh, inside my um, open web UI. Then you can start, for example, give me some idea, uh, help me study, whatever, and then just, uh, it's better to respond. So uh, again, you need to have a GPU. So right now, for example, on my operating system, uh, I have a GPU, so I can just watch uh, this N.5 and then NVIDIA SMI. So you can see if the GPU is in, being used. So. Uh, here right now when I'm using it, you should see the spike in the GPU. So let me try it again here. Uh, for example, send a message, tell me a story. You enter, 
on the right here, um, you should be seeing this one increasing, right? When it's using that. So this is how you can uh, set up an alias so they can start the program uh, easily. Next one, how to actually automatically start the program. So again, I'm on a main Java Linux. Uh, other operating system uh, Linux distro might be similar. So I'm just going to maybe go to my uh, documents directory. Here, I have a script folder. It can be any folder you like. And inside, we're going to create basically a, a base script, a shell script that uh, automatically execute it when we start the operating system. So I can just create a new one and I will just uh, change the name to maybe start uh, underscore web UI dot sh. Okay. And then you need to set this one, the permission that allow execution. So I'm going to go to my uh, permissions, allow executing file as program, and then just okay. After that, open this one. So then you can start editing, uh, putting the script inside. So what we do is just um, hashtag and then uh, exclamation. Then it will be just being sh. So the shell script. After that, um, again, I can copy the same script. Then from here, uh, control S, then we're done. So now we have this shell script created. Uh, the next step is to actually uh, let the operating system automatically start this one. So I can go here, just um, just type auto start. Okay, then you can find the auto start uh, settings on your uh, operating system. Then from here, upper right, there's a button, add new, and I can just uh, add this one, log in script. All right, and from here, go to the documents and scripts, then this one, and then hit enter. Then it should be good. Right now, it's, the, uh, it's not started yet because we haven't logged out yet. But next time when you reboot, uh, it should be automatically executed. So in that way, you can just open the browser and then just uh, bookmark this one. So you'll be, uh, again, um, GLO, GLO, whatever. You can bookmark this URL. So what I can do here is just um, bookmark and then put this one on the bookmark uh, bar and then okay so next time when you reboot your computer just come here and then just start it so for example right now uh, it's worked just fine let me open the script here one more time let me stop this one and if i stop now uh, this should be disconnected so it's not working anymore so how do we test if this one for example this uh, start script uh, is working or not i can open the terminal here and then i can just type uh, period slash start web ui uh, if this one works then it's automatically start okay so look at this uh, it's the same right so it's going to be executing uh, but it's better because you don't have to wait for a couple seconds when the system boots up uh, it's going to automatically launch so you don't have to uh, really wait for a couple more seconds then uh, you're starting so you see now it's done i can go back to here refresh and again you need to log in again i'm going to log in and then enter see i'm back in so this is how you can um automatically start open web ui uh, with dipseek r1 or whatever uh olama models you want to utilize it should be uh, it should be done okay and so the next one i'm going to show you how to uh, set it up on uh, windows uh, 11 so i'm going to uh, start my remote desktop Okay, so now I'm, uh, I'm on Windows 11, so I'm going to show you the same step how to set up my alias and also automatically start uh, Open Web UI when you boot the operating system. So first, let me open the terminal and just to double check that uh, Olama is working properly. So you can just type Olama run. Uh, then you should be able to see this one. Um, it's going to load the model and um, and then you should be able to pull up basically a, a command line program that allows you to uh, interact. Because this one is a little bit larger, so uh, make sure they have enough GPU. Uh, my GPU, I'm not sure if this is enough. Okay, it works. And I can say, tell me a story. Yeah, okay. it's going to sync and give you the result. So uh, next, let's set up this one um, automatically. So again, open uh, webby.com, go to the docs uh, documentation here. And so on Windows, we use this command line to start the programs uh, last time so if you want you can copy and then let me just buy here oops b y e and i can just control v so this is normally how we uh, start on uh, windows but 
uh, we can set up the areas. So I'm going to show you. Oops. Uh, everything is finished. Oh, this is a, a, a wrong one that I copied. It should be from here. Control C, copy. Oh, this is uh, installing UV. Sorry. It should be this one. Uh, UV we already installed. So uh, just to open a new terminal, hit enter. Right. So it's going to basically uh, check the UV um, virtual environment. It's going to start it. But how do we uh, create an alias? What you need to do is to do it like this. You can just type uh, test, yeah, test pass, and then uh, profile, hit enter. Right now it shows false. That means we don't have a profile yet. Uh, what you can do is to create a new item. So I can just new item and then pass profile, uh, create a new one. Again, all the command lines are in the video description below. You can um, try it out yourself. So if it shows you false, then we need to create one. If this is uh, true, then you don't need to run this command line. So I'm going to create and you see it's done right now. It's the, it has been created. So once we have that, we can just type notepad and then the profile uh, hit enter. It's open this one. So this one allows you to create basically uh, an alias that you can utilize uh, to start a program uh, easily. And after that, what we need to do is to copy. Um, you can copy the command line uh, from the video description below. So what we need is this content uh, function open web UI. So we're going to use the alias name open web UI. I'm going to set the environment variable data directory. Then it's going to start this one. And after that, just simply uh, save, uh, close it. And last step, just the period and then profile. So that means right now we're going to source the file. So in that way, open web UI is active. So after that, we can just type open. Uh, let me see if this one is stopped or not. Okay. Uh, let's stop this one. Control C. So make sure it's not running. So you'll be localhost. And then 8080. Okay. So right now it's not running and let's try out this one. Open web UI. Hit enter. Uh, or maybe we need to close it. Let me close it uh, entirely. And then hopefully it works. Open web UI. Uh, interesting. Did I take something wrong? Let me quickly do the debugging copy. Open web UI, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, control S. Oh, I didn't say, I didn't press control S. Maybe that's the problem. And then uh, should be period uh, and then profile. You enter open web UI. Okay, so now it works. Uh, so earlier I didn't save the profile. That's why it didn't work. As you can see, now we don't need to remember this long URL, this long command line uh, to start open web UI. Uh, all we need right now is just, just type open web, uh, web UI um, on the uh, PowerShell or on your um, terminal then it should automatically start uh, open web UI. And after that, um, you can refresh this one and then just maybe wait for a couple more seconds. It's be done. If you want, you can also bookmark this one. So just bookmark this URL. And next time you don't have to type uh, localhost. So this is one way you can um, set up the alias. So next, let's talk about how we can um, automatically start uh, the uh, open web UI. Uh, still not starting. It might take a couple more seconds. Uh, so just wait until you see the URL at the bottom. That means uh, it's uh, started successfully. Right now, it's not yet. So in order to um, create, uh, to automatically uh, start the script, when you um, reboot your operating, uh, your, your Windows, we need to uh, create a task scheduler. So what you need to do is to first open the notepad. Okay. And again, copy the script, something like, I'm going to create a new one here. So it's not confused with the other one. Okay. And okay, this one right now is done. So if you want, you see the URL here. By the way, this one doesn't work on Windows. I don't know why. But if you change this one to localhost, then it's localhost. Oops, uh, there's a typo. Localhost. Uh, you see, now it's working. So you can now you can log in. Uh, it's just um, the same like on Linux operating system. So let me close all this. And all right, so I'm going to set this one up on your um, on Windows. So again, paste this URL. So this is similar to what we uh, uh, put on the profile. 
And the reason why I want to create this one because we want to start this one uh, in the script. And after that, uh, you can save this one to a directory. So I'm just going to file, save as, and then maybe go to uh, my document script. You can wherever you want to save the, this script and then choose all files. Then uh, just give a new name. Uh, the name needs to be PS1, okay, your profile or whatever. And then we can use the start web UI uh, profile uh, PS1 and then just click save. Uh, you can go back to your documents to double check, uh, make sure the file is there. So it's under here, script, and it's this one. Once you uh, created uh, the profile, next is going to set up a task scheduler. Uh, scheduler. So you can just uh, search task scheduler on uh, Windows 11 and then open um, open it. Next, upper right corner here, create basic task. Okay and just give a name for example open uh, web ui next and from here you want to check this option when i log on next start a program and from this one here you want to write uh, powershell so power uh, lowercase power shell dot exe okay and then uh, for this one you want to basically start a script so Again, I'm gonna copy this one, uh, open the uh, notepad so that you can make some change. Oops, not, not this one. It should be uh, on uh, Linux. So I'm gonna open a new new tab here, Control V. So this one here, uh, again, copy this one from the video description below, but you just need to change this file path, right? So for me, it's under here, under my username documents and script. So I'm just copy and then replace this one. And the last portion is the same. So you'll be like this. Then control S. Uh, not control S. Okay. Control C. And come back to this here. Add arguments. Just paste this one. Click next. Next. Finish. And all done. So we have set that this one as the task scheduler. And whenever this one, uh, you log into the operating system, uh, you will be started. So for example, let me uh, stop this one right now. Uh, control C. So this is what we... Uh, utilize using the um, alias but if you already set it up on your computer then you can just um, uh, utilize in this way so in that way you don't have to manually type the um, the command when you want to use it so after this I just um, reboot your uh, system then you should be good to go okay so this is all I want to show you uh, in this video hope you uh, find it useful and now um, it's much easier to use open web UI with uh, DeepSeek uh, R1. Okay, I will see you in the next uh, one. Take care. Bye-bye.